Hi, Phil Cheatham, the 3D guy. I'm going to talk to you about spine turn as shown by the My Swing system. So just to quickly explain the graph first, on the vertical axis we have the amount of separation or coil between the pelvis and the rib cage. We call it spine turn. Along the horizontal axis we have time in seconds throughout the swing. So the first portion of the graph here is the backswing, next portion is the downswing, and finally the follow through. If we follow this curve through, effectively it's telling you how much separation we've got in different parts of the swing. So you can see at address, which is the beginning or the zero here, we've got about uh, maybe 10 degrees or so. That's showing us that there's a little bit of coil at address. It's kind of showing us alignment. Perhaps there's a bit of uh, misalignment between the pelvis and the rib cage. We can see as we go into the backswing, it goes down. So it actually increases in a negative direction. That just means that it's, we use the negative direction for the backswing, not that important, but it gets bigger in that direction. So it gets the biggest as we see this red line here is top of backswing. So we expect it to get larger because that would be our coil at the very top of backswing. Now what we would like to see is we'd like to see that increase a little bit more in the downswing so that we get a stretch or an extra coil or an extra spine turn. That would load the spine, load the core muscles and allow us to be stronger in the downswing, set up the downswing to be more powerful. So immediately we see in the downswing that that starts to curve up. That's now telling us that the coil is closing very rapidly and that the rib cage is coming into the downswing. So we see at impact, which is this red line here, we've probably got about 10 degrees. So that tells us that our pelvis is about 10 degrees ahead of our rib cage. So we've got a little bit of X factor at impact and that's typical in the Tor Pros. And then on through to finish. So that in a nutshell is what the spine turn graph means.